I have been lucky and blessed enough for having such wonderful people around me. uplift my spirits at all difficult times. For me, happiness comes in small packages. Even a warm hug can make me the happiest person on the earth. I too have a story of struggle. I never thought that I would pull through that journey in one piece. But I did. And I am stronger for it. Being strong was the only choice I had and I made. I had my share of high days and low days. There have been sleepless nights when I was crying in pain. And there have been days while I was feeling very comfortable. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at all. But I had to gather my strength. Because I always used to say that cancer cannot take my life. I may die in a road accident, but not with cancer. I have to live for myself, then for my daughter, then for my husband, then for my family. But first for myself. So after all investigations have been done and it has shown that I have stage 3B breast cancer, I had undergone six neoadjuvant chemotherapy cycles followed by a mastectomy and followed by 25 settings of radiation. So one of the doctors did mention about getting into genetic test. This was April 2013. So I refused to undergo any kind of genetic test at that time. Finished my treatment in December 2013. I was back with my life, getting on with the recovery mode and that recovery phase. Those side effects were there, but I was taking holistic therapies to recover well and recover faster. That time I started doing a lot of workshops meeting more doctors and patients and survivors. And then at one of the workshop, one of the doctors just mentioned about that Dimple, you should go and get a genetic testing done. My oncologist, he recommended Strand. I said, okay, let's do it. Strand hereditary cancer test was quite convenient. I just went to the hospital just gave the blood sample and the sample was sent to Bangalore and the report came after three weeks. I and my husband, we went to meet the doc doctor and I told him, I don't have any fear. He was in fact surprised. He said, I was not expecting this. I was expecting negative. I said, even that's fine if it, if it has come out positive, but I just wanted to double check with the things to assure that the report which has come out positive is the correct report. So I spoke to my oncologist and asked him that I want to repeat the test with some other lab. He said, uh, you don't actually need that. Strand are very well trusted lab and uh, they use modern technology. I said, it's not that I have any fear or something but let's be on the safer side. So I went ahead and gave my blood sample to another lab in US and the report matched with the Strand lab. I had a word with my oncologist to know more about the preventive methods and they gave me few options about uh, prophylactic majors. We can go for prophylactic mastectomy and hysterectomy in near future. We still have time Along with that, we can monitor the breast and the ovaries very closely if anything comes up, so we can detect it in the earlier stage. Dimple said in one of her 
interviews or posts that cancer cancer you have chosen the wrong girl but i think cancer has chosen just the right girl because dimple has given it you know just a really tough fight and lived her life and she's a living example a very big uh, role model for people who are suffering and uh, you know big hope for them that there is life with cancer and after cancer i totally believe that it has come to me for a purpose that's why it has come so early maybe if it would have come to me in 40s or 50s i wouldn't have that kind of a strength to follow my purpose and through the purpose i would say it has become the passion and the purpose is cheers to life foundation where i can give my time my experience my learnings through my journey with others so they can have their fight and they can win it i was the first person she did proper guidance to and uh, till today it's been three and a half years we are in constant touch apart from the guidance knowledge which i gained by talking to her it was a very good feeling to know that somebody understands what i'm going through though i had the support of my family always my family was there parents everybody was there i think some at some point over there she realized if she could help me if a person can benefit from the knowledge which she had gained so she should reach out to more number of people and that is where i think the seed to cheers to life was born after coming out of the painful journey i wanted to do something for myself which could give me a liberated feeling i went ahead and got a tattoo done it has a cancer ribbon bow with wings just like that cancer gave me wings to fly as yesterday gone and me along with it i want to start again and i will trust in it